Good afternoon. Fill on in, there's lots of space. Welcome to the trophies for the 2021 Rolex Big Boat Series. And now let me introduce our Commodore, Bill Dana. Thanks, Susan. Uh, welcome to the 2021 Rolex Big Boat Series Awards Celebration. Thank you all for coming. Uh, this is, a, we believe, one of the uh, premier West Coast regattas, if not you know, the whole country. And uh, after a year off, we're super excited to have everyone back, and uh, thank you for coming. Uh, we had 79 boats on the line with over 700 competitors. Uh, if, if that's not a party, I don't know what is. That's a, that's a good event. Our goal is to have a, a great racing and then a camaraderie on shore when I think there's probably plenty of camaraderie going on. So uh, on the water, I also think it was a fantastic regatta. Uh, I, and I say that as a competitor, uh, as also as a, uh, uh, the Commodore. So um, the, uh, the team did a great job and the sailing was great. You know, short tacking up the city front this morning with our fleet and uh, a big fleet of J105s, that was uh, pretty exciting stuff. And uh, then of course the reach in from Diablo to the finish. I mean, textbook, classic Rolex big boat series, man. What a ton of fun that was. Woohoo, right? Yeah. So in any case, <clears throat> okay. So uh, now I just want to turn it over to um, the video and social media team, Chris Love Productions. Uh, he always does a great job with uh, video, so we're going to tee that up, and uh, I'll be back on stage in a little bit. Thank you. Describe Big Boat Series. It's cold. <laughs> Can't believe that it's happening again, and this is really awesome. The Rolex Big Boat Series really showcases being able to sail in this wonderful venue we have. A Rolex Big Boat Series, big win, big fun. Oh, this is wonderful. Uh, the fact that we're all here enjoying the social atmosphere on the shore. Um, we're able to be out on the water and uh, see all our friends we haven't seen for so long. It's wonderful to be back. I think people are more appreciative of, you know, the time where they missed being together and now they're together. So that's just great. This is the closest thing to pre-COVID events that I've done and it's been awesome. I'm a professional sailor, so this is what I do for a living. And I've really been, you know, the last year and a half, almost two years now has been, you know, it's been so strange, you know, for everybody, obviously. But it, this was awesome, like go to the tent and have the, you know, the steel drum band playing and Mount Gay Rum, seeing Rolex again everywhere. It's, it's like a little hint of normalcy, which has just been spectacular. And I think St. Francis has done an amazing job of pulling this all together. This is not easy to do during these times. I have sailed three times in the Rolex Big Boat Series. San Francisco Bay is definitely the best windier conditions place to sail. Well, it's the first time we've done Rolex Big Boat Series. We've been meaning to do this for years. Everyone knows this event is known for, for breeze. It's so consistent, you know, and so it really, it puts your crew to the test. Your sail handling, you know, and you have to know the bay, you have to know the current. So we're getting schooled a little bit right now but really enjoying it and uh, still uh, coming up the learning curve fast. So we have big plans for tomorrow, hopefully. 
I've probably done 10 of these. And uh, what's special, I think, is the obvious. It's the best place in the world to go sailing. It's consistently windy. It's beautiful. It's a little on the cold side, but <laughs> the sailing overrides all that. So it's just great. And from a tactical perspective, it's super fun because there's just always things to think about in this, you know, it's kind of a combined arena and between you know, the changing tides and the geographic effects on the, on the wind, it's, uh, it's just, it's fun. It's always engaging. Just being here is just such an honor and the best thing this year so far. We're the only all-female crew for a second year in a row. 2019 was the first and we come from all over the bay and nine out of the ten are boat owners, which is unusual. And just the cohesiveness of the group, even though we came together very recently, is off the charts. It's fantastic. I think I've probably done about 17 of these and we've won it three times. This is a great regatta. We really enjoy being out here and, and Rolex puts on a great show. Yeah, the J105 has been the biggest class for many years. It's just a really tight one design class. Sometimes you get boats from out of town, uh, but everyone at top and bottom fleet is, is really strong. So our crew's been together for several years. We can all think the same thing and often communicate without even talking. So uh, it's really good to be with people that you are familiar with. I'm Gina Eggleston. This is the Water Witch from 1928. This is our second year. She's a Lester Stone built boat, built in 1928. It was a personal boat that he built for himself. There's only three like it. That's why our seal number is P3. Gosh, the classics are a great addition. I think they did that years ago and we're really trying to build the fleet of classics to join and we have a great time out on the water. There's a lot of camaraderie. I think we're all the custodians of all these boats and we want to see more of them here. Merlin is a 75 foot boat and when I look at it on the dock, it looks a lot bigger than all the other ones that I have sailed on. I'm very happy and I know it's a huge opportunity and it's a lot different than sailing off these and being out here is really cool on this huge boat. It's definitely a little more chaotic than the smaller boats that we usually sail. I stay back and do check stay to make sure to support the mast to make sure it doesn't snap. This is definitely longer courses than what I'm used to. Uh, it's about like 45 to an hour each race. The thing I love about Big Boat Series is the wind and the challenge of, of that and downwind at 35 knots. It's the best, that, that's the best part. It's like no other regatta on the West Coast. And just the whole professional side that the St. Francis puts on is amazing. Sailing on the bay with the pressure, uh, with the scenery, with the good competition, it's probably pretty unique. There's not too many places in the world where we can go do this together. And so uh, really happy to be here. All right, that was cool. Always a fun video. All right. Again, congratulations to uh, all the competitors and uh, 
We certainly want to thank Rolex once again. Without Rolex, this, uh, this event would be a lot different, that's for sure. Um, we also want to acknowledge our, our other sponsors uh, this year. We had uh, New Front Insurance and Mustang Survival, uh, who stepped up big time. So, um, so now I just want to introduce uh, Dustin Longus, uh, sports marketing for Rolex. Dustin's a great guy, where is he? Is he gonna come up? There is Dustin. He's been doing this a long time. He's a pro at uh, giving away Rolexes. We all like that, right? Thank you, Commodore. Uh, yep, my name is Dustin Longus with Rolex Watch USA. I just hope everyone had a great time this week. This is certainly a great event, one of the premier West Coast regattas. We love coming back here to beautiful St. Francis, seeing all the competition out on the water. So again, thank you. We're glad everyone enjoyed it, and we'll see you again next year. That's awesome, great guy. All right, now I'm gonna turn it back over to our regatta chair, Susan Rooney. I want to thank our volunteers because without our volunteers, we can't do this regatta. My committee this year was Staff Commodore Ken Glidewell, Lawson Willard, Norman Devant, Meg Rexton, Adam Corpazlan, Grace Carrick, and Pierce Forgione. Thank you all. Your principal race officers who were back from Japan, Jeff Johnson and Tom Duggan. Your deputy PROs who helped coordinate it all, Peggy Litzger, John Siegel, and Don Weineke. We have an amazing team of volunteers both on and off the water. We cannot do this without all of them. You do not get marks in the water, finishes recorded, help with ferrying back and forth from your dock, greeting at the door. If you serve this week as a volunteer, please raise your hand and everybody else, let's give them a big round of applause. There's also a committee at St. Francis right now that is helping us stay open with our doors open and adjusting as the rules change day by day. We, this committee is called the COVID Committee. And I wanna thank them. It's a combination of staff and our board members and some other people. And I just wanna thank all of our COVID Committee for helping us make this regatta happen. Thank you. Our jury, led by Grant Baldwin, included Denise Danielle Lawson, Steve Holbstrom, Francisco, Francisco Jagarai, Bruce Martinson, Thomas Rinda, and Leslie Iacopi. Thank you, jury. Our media team, led by Amanda Witherell, Social media by Kate Wilson, video from Chris Love Productions and team, and Rolex photography by Sharon Green and Peter Lyons. We also had our great live feed hosts, Jenny Tulick and Kimball Livingston. If you haven't watched it, watch them. We also want to give a huge shout out to South Beach Yacht Club for loaning us the, the Annabelle as our race committee boat and all the team that came with that. Thank you, South Beach Yacht Club. Our Yacht Club has an amazing professional staff led by our, our general manager, John Marr, 
His dog Storm was here helping too today. Noella Milla, Michael Perry, Gail Lee, Chef Aaron Johnson, and the entire club staff. Thank you. As Bill mentioned, our sponsors, besides Rolex, who we can't do this without, Mount Gay Rum, Fort Point Beer Company, West Marine, Pirate's Lair, Mustang Survival, and New Front Insurance. Thank you. And thanks to all of you, we again achieved platinum status for Sailors for the Sea on a clean regatta. Please keep using those reusable water bottles, reusable beer cups, Make it a better place. Keep our bay clean. Thank you. Are you ready for awards? Okay. So, we do starboard roundings of the podium at St. Francis. You're going to come in from down here. Across the stage. You can bring the whole crew. You'll leave this way. You cannot come this way. You can't come this way. Starboard roundings. J70s, if you're in the top three, make your way this way. Okay, I need Commodore Dana up on stage with me and my two trophy helpers, Anne Claire and Charlie. In third place in the J70s, Peter Cameron, kangaroo jockey. I see people moving. Okay, so again, J70 winners move over here. Classics, you're up next. Peter Cameron, are you here? I can't believe I can't hear him. He's not here. He's not here. Okay. Second place, J70s, Jeff McDonald, Scott Sellers, 1FA. First place, J70 class, John Bridgen, Cool Story Bro. Now we move on to the classic class for their second visit to the Big Boat Series, and I think they're here to stay. They're certainly gorgeous to watch. Third place, Michael Zolizzi, Yucca. Featuring our Bay Area classic sailor, Hank. Thank you. 
Second place in the classic class, Neil Gibbs, K of Gutenberg. First place, Classics class. St. Francis Yacht Club rear Commodore, Bo Vrolick with his wife Stacy on Mayan. ORRC, you're next on deck. ORRC, followed by J88s. Next trophy. I know you're all excited. Can we quiet a little bit down? Thank you. The Keith Kilborn Award. It's one of our perpetuals was established in memory of two late St. Francis members, Harold Keefe and Ray Kilborn. This year it's awarded to ORRC. Third place, David Hollowell, Peregrine. Come on, Tad. In second place, Rodney Pimentel, 
and Azur. First place for the Keith Kilborn Trophy, ORRC, Scott Eason, eight ball. The City of San Francisco Perpetual Trophy. It's one of the golden spades used to break ground on the Golden Gate Bridge. This year it is awarded to the J88 class along with their North American Championships. Third place, Sergey Lebarski Pelagia. Express 37, she'll be the next class after this. Congratulations, thank you guys. Second place in the J88 North Americans and City of San Francisco trophy from New York, probably the longest trailered boat here, Iris Vogel and Deviation. First place, J88 North American Champions, Gary Panarillo, Courageous.
congratulations. Next up, the Richard Ream Perpetual Trophy, established in 1972 in memory of St. Francis member who owned the Morning Star. This year it goes to the Express 37s who are celebrating their 30th Big Boat Series. Congratulations. In third place, Mark Chafee and Heidi Hall, Locomotion. J105s, you're the next up after this. All five top boats move that way. People can go on the other side of the Commodore too. People can go on the other side of the Commodore. Second place, Andy Schwenk, Spindrift 5. First place, Richard Ream Perpetual Trophy and the Express 37 Pacific Coast Champion, Sean Ivey, Limitless. Now we are moving into the three trophies that also get a Rolex watch. The first is the Commodore's Cup, added in 2004 to acknowledge the one design racing that happens at Big Boat Series, started by the Express 37s. The trophy is awarded to the largest one design fleet. This year was 22 boats in the J105 class. In fifth place, Jeff Litvin, Mojo.
Thanks, you guys. In fourth place, Bruce Stone and Nicole Brayalt, arbitrage. This is a good time to note that we had a record number of junior sailors racing this year all week. There's one on this crew. The op deflated, better watch out. In third place, Keith Leby, Godot. In second place, Tim Russell, Nay Nay. Okay. First place for the Commodore's Cup. Both the Perpetual and a Rolex Submariner watch. Ryan Simmons and crew on the Black Hawk. Next up is the Atlantic Perpetual Trophy, which is the bell that we use quite effectively in this ceremony. It was the bell of the 1905 schooner Atlantic, which was the transatlantic record holder for nearly a century. This year it's going to ORRB, along with a Rolex Submariner. In third place, Dave McEwen, Lucky Duck. Can you all quack for them? Oh, 
In second place for the Atlantic Trophy and ORRB, David Thielman, Kauai. And first place for the trophy and a Rolex Submariner. <laughs> Another traveling boat. We're very happy to have them from Baltimore and Annapolis area. Sandra Askew, Flying Jenny. And our last trophy, newly refurbished, the St. Francis Perpetual Trophy, awarded since 1964. It goes to ORRA along with the Rolex Submariner. Third place, Romeo Urate Destin. Second place, Thomas Furlong, Elusive.
This way, guys, wrong way. This way. Starboard rounding. Yes, yes. I don't know, we had it. You know Starboard roundings, people. First place. And a Rolex Submariner. Bernard Gerard, rock and roll. Thank you all. We will see you in 2022. And now we'll show the video a couple more times. Describe Big Boat Series. It's cold. <laughs> can't believe that it's happening again and this is really awesome. The Rolex Big Boat Series really showcases being able to sail this wonderful venue we have. A Rolex Big Boat Series, big win, big fun. Oh, this is wonderful. Uh, the fact that we're all here enjoying the social atmosphere on the shore. Um, we're able to be out on the water and uh, see all our friends that we haven't seen for so long. It's wonderful to be back. I think people are more appreciative of, you know, the time where they missed being together and now they're together. So that's just great. This is the closest thing to pre-COVID events that I've done and it's been awesome. I'm a professional sailor, so this is what I do for a living. And I've really been, you know, the last year and a half, almost two years now has been, you know, it's been so strange, you know, for everybody, obviously, but it, this was awesome. Like go to the tent and have the, you know, the steel drum band playing and Mount Gay Rum, seeing Rolex again everywhere. It's, it's like a little hint of normalcy, which has just been spectacular. And I think St. Francis has done an amazing job of pulling this all together. This is not easy to do during these times. I have sailed three times in the Rolex Big Boat Series. San Francisco Bay is definitely the best windier conditions place to sail. Well, it's the first time we've done Rolex Big Boat Series. We've been meaning to do this for years. Everyone knows this event is known for, for breeze. It's so consistent, you know, and so it really, it puts your crew to the test. Your sail handling, you know, and you have to know the bay, you have to know the current. So we're getting schooled a little bit right now. 
but really enjoying it and uh, still um, coming up the learning curve fast. So we yeah. have big plans for tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> I've probably done 10 of these. And uh, what's special, I think, is the obvious. It's the best place in the world to go sailing. It's consistently windy. It's beautiful. It's a little on the cold side, but <laughs> the sailing overrides all that. So it's just great. And from a tactical perspective, it's super fun because there's just always things to think about in this, you know, it's kind of a combined arena and between you know, the changing tides and the geographic effects on the, on the wind, it's, uh, it's just, it's fun. It's always engaging. Just being here is just such an honor and the best thing this year so far. We're the only all-female crew for a second year in a row. 2019 was the first and we come from all over the bay and nine out of the ten are boat owners which is unusual and just the cohesiveness of the group even though we came together very recently is off the charts. It's fantastic. I think I've probably done about 17 of these and we won it three times. This is a great regatta. We really enjoy being out here and, and Rolex puts on a great show. Yeah, the J105 has been the biggest class for many years. It's just a really tight one design class. Sometimes you get boats from out of town, uh, but everyone at top and bottom fleet is it's really strong. So our crew's been together for several years. We can all think the same thing and often communicate without even talking. So uh, it's really good to be with people that you are familiar with. I'm Gina Eggleston. This is the Water Witch from 1928. This is our second year. She's a Lester Stone built boat, built in 1928. It was a personal boat that he built for himself. There's only three like it. That's why our seal number is P3. Gosh, the classics are a great addition. I think they did that years ago and we're really trying to build the fleet of classics to join and we have a great time out on the water. There's a lot of camaraderie. I think we're all the custodians of all these boats and we want to see more of them here. Merlin is a 75 foot boat and when I look at it on the dock, it looks a lot bigger than all the other ones that I have sailed on. I'm very happy and I know it's a huge opportunity and it's a lot different than sailing opties and being out here is really cool on this huge boat. It's definitely a little more chaotic than the smaller boats that we usually sail. I stay back and do check stay to make sure to support the mast to make sure it doesn't snap. This is definitely longer courses than what I'm used to. Uh, it's about like 45 to an hour each race. The thing I love about Big Boat Series is the wind and the challenge of, of that and downwind at 35 knots. It's the best, that, that's the best part. It's like no other regatta on the West Coast. And just the whole professional side that the St. Francis puts on is amazing. Sailing on the bay with the pressure, uh, with the scenery, with the good competition, it's probably pretty unique. There's not too many places in the world where we can go do this together. And so uh, really happy to be here. <laughs>